Today we're talking about using prefixes and suffixes on a simple main title in Compile in Scrivener 3 for Windows. This, of course, is done in your own custom format in Compile. So if you've already created one, just open that to edit. Or if you haven't, choose the format you want to adapt. Right click on it and select Duplicate and Edit. I'm using the Microsoft Word paperback format here. Click onto the Section Layouts tab and choose a section layout that's only a main title. Here I have chosen the part number page title. Now if you click onto the Title Options tab, you'll see the title, prefix and suffix boxes. You'll notice that the prefix already has something in it. Yes, the title is technically a prefix. That's a little weird. So let's say you wanted to put something decorative around the title, like a tilde symbol. You can simply put them either side of the text that's there. Why not use the suffix box for the second one? Well, because if you do, that puts it on a different line, which is not quite so aesthetically pleasing. You can also put something above the prefix, such as a line of symbols. What it won't do is adjust to the length of the text, so this may not be the best of ideas. You can also simply press return and put another line beneath. If you put this into the suffix box, it's basically the same, except for the format. In the prefix box, it'll follow the format of the title text. In the suffix box, it's a separate item, so you'll need to adjust it to be the same if you need it to match. So, what's the benefit of using the suffix box instead of the prefix box? Well, that very fact that you can have a different format. It might be that there's some standard text you want after every title. Or you might just find it easier to work that way. Or there are other possibilities. But that's for a future video. Next time we'll be looking at the same thing with a double title which is a main title and a subtitle.